Welcome to Imcon Solutions. Today we're going to discuss, or I'm just going to give you an update on my little fixed note I got here in Albania with me while I live and work here, and just some of the changes I made. And then we're going to discuss the configuration, radio configuration changes that Mestastic has uh, recommended for users that I've seen a lot of discussion about in my Telegram group and other uh, social platforms over the last couple of weeks since the announcement was made. So I figured it'd be a good time to address some of that and just my thoughts on it because I've been asked a few questions already. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at this. First, I'll give you a quick backstory. I do live and work here, um, uh, you know, from the US. Uh, I have still my home and everything there, Ravenwood Acres, my other channel. Um, and I'll be here for maybe the next 12 plus months, depending on things. but. Uh, I was, I'm only here temporarily, so I only came here with three check bags, basically limited equipment I could bring, but I wanted to continue talking about emergency communications and I wanted to continue to learn and grow um, my knowledge of on Meshtastic and other equipment, but I had some limitations and mail service here is extremely difficult. I've kind of worked, got some workarounds that are working okay for me right now, but it still takes a long time to get things. So, and then of course, if, I get a bunch of stuff then how do i get it back home without paying a lot to ship it back home myself through like the mail service so it's a it's a delicate balance uh you know keeping up this hobby and this passion of mine uh but then not you know cost myself too much so anyways uh this node so it's just a whiz block set up with gps module and then the um, bosch environmental sensor on the back which is pretty cool because it gives you temp pa uh and environmental uh oh air quality which is kind of cool here because air quality definitely i'm in a big city can get kind of bad at times so especially here on the in the summertime so so it's standard setup this is a local electrical enclosure box that i adapted i'll put a link for the original video this is not a, a build video but what the biggest thing i did and i just wanted to show you is this 3d printed you know kind of skeleton skeleton style uh, mounting plate uh, i just have foam in there because i'm not going to try to screw it down and deal with all that this is temporary when i pack up and leave here i'll take the you know take the innards out of here and throw in a bag and you know head home the rest will just you know whatever get thrown in the garbage the antenna right now the next step is i have in 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 route uh through the mail service is a yagi antenna and because i'm trying to make contact with a node i can see in the montenegro that's about 80 kilometers from where i'm at in albania i'm on a sixth floor of an apartment building kind of up on a hillside so i have a pretty good from the a balcony where this sits um pretty good vantage which has benefited me the only contacts i've made is with a gentleman and on a commercial flight flying over Albania, flying south, uh, and we had a, you know, I don't know, 10, 15 minute conversation. It was pretty cool as he traversed through the airspace over here at like 30,000 feet. Pretty cool to think when it, the furthest away he was, I think it was over 100 kilometers the first time he sent a message, uh, which is it, it, very cool and impressive. Uh, on long fast, by the way, we'll talk that here towards the end. But this is a simple setup, just kind of goes to show you that you don't have to get overly complex. Yeah, it's not mounted around, but it's not really going anywhere. It just sits right now in a little uh, plant planter container. I'm gonna figure out a way to mount it in the future, uh, especially when I add the Yagi. So that's kind of the update on there. I wanted to show you one other 3D print I thought I might be able to use. This gentleman, these files will be linked down below or the link to his page in printable. I believe it was printable, it might've been one of the other ones. This will work specifically with that enclosure that uh, is really popular on Amazon. I have two of them. I have one solar node in the US set up on that. Uh, the, uh, the comms channel, that guy made these or made that case pretty uh, popular. It's just an enclosure that works really good for building solar setups. This is cool. They have ones that have that you can print in that has the um, pre-printed basically 18650 battery 
uh, bracket and then you have to obviously add the wires and all that stuff but very cool but it wouldn't work without a lot of modification and then I would have because of this corner it would have ended up not working so because of this setup I could try to find a larger one and use it but like I said it's temporary so it works um, <clears throat> on to long fast so long fast versus medium fast so Mitch Tastic made that announcement a couple weeks back and there's been a lot of conversation about it I'm currently still running long fast on that node because of the node that I'm trying to make contact, the individual Monte Montenegro. I've been further north, very near the Montenegro border. I wasn't, so there's a repeater node there, and then there's multiple other nodes. I assume they're either people that that person knows or they're just other Mestastic users, whatever, in that area, in that city. I won't disclose that here just because, you know, I don't know the person and I feel like maybe they don't want it disclosed. So, um that uh they weren't those weren't active when i was trying to make send messages even though i was probably probably within 20 miles uh and then you know pretty straight shot you know no terrain in between me and them so uh interesting i would love to make contact so if you happen to watch my videos and hear that person please just reach out to me or hit me up on telegram and you can dm me or whatever that way if you're not comfortable messaging here then you can message me there and you know have your privacy protected so um my suggestion for people because the biggest thing uh, individuals tend to do when they get these is they go in and they because they've watched the video and they start like changing all the settings on their radios uh, and maybe they change the channel immediately and add encryption well once you've done that if you haven't shared that channel with anybody else you're talking to yourself um so if you're trying to make contacts with other Meshtastic users, stay in that long fast, and then maybe have a node for the, the next, who knows, month or so in medium fast and start to see where you're picking up other nodes, if there's any in your area. I know that's sometimes a problem. Uh, and then use GPS if all possible, keep it in client mode. If you're concerned about GPS and privacy, uh, I just went through and changed multiple of my nodes to a fixed location i didn't have any issues i have a question on one of my videos i'm going to get back to that person about that because i wanted to test it out i've reset the radios even after changing them done a bunch of stuff and it's still staying at the fixed location his for some reason was changing like the zeros not sure why if anybody else has experienced that please put a you know comment down below about it and if they found that, especially if you found a what it was in the settings that was messing that up <clears throat> appears sounds like if i remember correctly he's an android user because i sometimes people ask me questions or ios users and i use an android and they the app is a little different so it takes a little bit to work through those differences so those are my recommendations what are you guys using are you using long fast still are you using medium fast are you using only client i've switched everything to client i do have one that's in repeater back in the u.s where I'm in a more rural area, so I kind of feel like maybe it's not going to be a problem. But once I get back, I'll kind of see. I did find some contacts. I didn't make contact, but did pick up some nodes in the local area where my home is in Washington State. So that I'm kind of excited when I get back to hopefully build a network. If you're from the Pacific Northwest, Washington, Oregon, that area, there's a pretty good concentration kind of Seattle, Tacoma, and then Portland, I want to try to do a whole I-5 initiative and try to fill that gap. I thought that would be really cool. We'll see how successful we're going to be, but that'll be next year, maybe even further out. So if you guys are interested in what we're doing here, this was interesting to you. Subscribe, like, check out our Telegram group if you want to connect with other LoRa users. We can talk. You can talk about pretty much anything, emergency communications, LoRa, Mystastic, whatever. 3d printing i don't care um now you start talking about you know your stamp collection or something i might be like hey that's maybe take that elsewhere but anyways i have social media links you also can connect us with us there stay tuned for more great videos thanks for watching